Hello friends, welcome to the Postman tutorials from Software Testing Help. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use built-in library modules in Postman tree request scripts as well as in tests. We'll cover what is Postman Sandbox API and we'll see an example using a built-in module named Movement.js. So let's get started. I have my Postman application open with a collection named Demonstrate Built-in Modules. I have created a post request endpoint which is a fake data API request response.in slash API slash users it's a post method that accepts some body in the form of some data you can actually add simple any values here Let's say 30. Let's try hitting this. And we can see that it has returned some response with ID 742. So we know that this works. Now let's try using Postman's built in library modules. Assuming that we have a another parameter called create date here that takes value from an environment variable called create date now let's assume that this expects date in the format of say date format required is suppose yy yy mm dt now there are always ways to create these kind of formats using plain old javascript code but the sandbox api postman sandbox api does provide a lot of built-in modules that you can use directly we'll see an example using movement js that's again a js library that makes formatting with date and time a lot easier it's just one line code and you get the format that you want so let's try using this I'll say where moment object equal to require moment. This essentially means that we are adding or including the moment JS file and the moment object will represent it. I'll use pm.environment.set create date. moment object dot format by 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 mm dd that's it now what this code is doing is first it's creating the object moment object which returns essentially an object of moment js and we are setting the environment variable name create date to moment object dot format and the format that we need essentially it will return today's date in this format and this create date environment variable will have that value since we are setting it in this environment variable so let's see by executing it and we can see that create date is replaced with today's date here that is 10th October 2019 let's try doing some more operation like suppose we have an expiry date field here that simply takes value of environment variable and let's go to pre-request script and we'll say pm.environment.set expiry date let's try to say add say 20 days to the created date that is today's date in the same format and that's it let's try hitting send and we can see that create date 
and expiry date both are added with expiry date as 20 days added to this date so you can see that there are by using this sandbox module like movement js and others we can simplify our code and simplify our scripts by using them in pre request scripts similarly we can use them in test script or post request scripts as well to validate the fields from the response json or to do whatever logic or scripting we want but it makes the code really simple and readable without doing any major processing using the plain old java script code let's see what are the apis or modules that are available there is this page which is sandbox api reference for postman and this is from official postman website you can see that it lists all the modules that are available you can use all these module by doing uh, doing require like we did here for movement you can do for any other modules like one other useful module is crypto js this can allow you to create hashed value or base64 encoded value of any text strings these also might be required a lot of times when your request bodies expect sha values or hash values you can use these encryption libraries yeah and similarly there are other libraries like tv4 is tiny validator and things like that then there are a number of node.js modules also available that you can simply use without even doing uh, require and these are directly available like assert path is there these are node.js modules that can be directly used this page has all the references to these variables as well as some scripting examples so it's really very detailed and handy so yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you